हेलो एवरी वन आई होप अवर लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ सीरीज ओ एप स्टॉप टेन वॉज हेल्पफुल एंड इन्फॉर्मेटिव विच गिवस ओवरऑल आइडिया ऑफ वर्नरेबिलिटी क्रिप्टोग्राफिक फेल्यूअर्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी बैक विथ अवर नेक्स्ट स्टेप इन अवर जर्नी थ्रू द ओ एप स्टॉप टेन विथ वर्नरेबिलिटी ए जीरो थ्री इंजेक्शन विल सी वॉट इज इंजेक्शन वर्नरेबिलिटी वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इंजेक्शन वर्नरेबिलिटी which are the common signs of injection uh, some of uh, some real world examples uh, what is the potential impact of injection uh, some injection vulnerability examples and preventions for the injection vulnerability injection is a type of cyber attack that transmits data to change the way commands are interpreted in the system during an injection an attacker will transmit malicious data to an interpreter most sources of data can be used for injection including environment variables parameters web services and user types injection is a risk listed in oap top 10 and it is important to look out for The OWAP Top 10 is a report that lists the most dangerous web application security vulnerabilities. It is updated on regular basis to guarantee that the list always includes the top 10 most serious threats to the business. Since OWAP Top 10 was first introduced in 2003, injection has been ranked with OWAP featuring as its number one security risk to web applications in 2010 to 2017 edition in the 2021 version injection remains a serious web application security risk that developers and web application security administrators should be aware of injection can lead to data loss corruption and breaches and even loss of control and the revealing of sensitive information associated with the target host a successful injection can also provide attackers with unauthorized access to the database allowing them to examine tables read critical information from them edit them and even acquire administrator access injection vulnerability is a type of security flaw that occurs when untrusted data is sent to an interpreter as part of command or query it commonly target databases operating systems or other application that processes user input an injection attack occurs when an attacker exploits code that hasn't been sanitized sanitized successfully the code may not have been validated or filtered thus making it insecure and allowing attackers an open opportunity When it comes to cyber security an attacker can inject their own malicious code into an application in order to execute remote commands this can lead to informative disclosure now listed as a cryptographic failure by oaps authentication bypass and privilege escalation resulting in data loss data corruption and data breaches a successful injection can provide attackers with unauthorized access allowing them to view or edit critical information and gain access to the system now let's see what are the types of injection vulnerability there are several types of injection attacks that can leave an organization vulnerable The most prevalent injection attack types are SQL injection and cross-site scripting. Although there are not the only ones, different types of injection attack includes OS command injection, LDAP injection, CRLF injection, host header injection, mail command injection, and many other. So here we are discussing about SQL injection, cross-site scripting injection, LDAP injection, and HTTP header injection. first we'll discuss about sql injection sql injection is a weakness in web security that could let an attacker change the sql queries that are run on the database this can be used to get sensitive information like the structure of database its tables columns and data set sql injection are always on cwe top 25 list of vulnerabilities because they are one of the most dangerous flaws that can affect web application and sql injection attack is carried out when a hostile hacker insert a sql statement into data that is placed into a web form 
comment field, query string or any other input channel that is available to people on the outside. Malicious code usually takes the form of a SQL query that tries to get sensitive information. However, it might also take the form of a SQL statement that is intended to change the content of the database going as far as to delete database. So, if the targeted application is vulnerable to SQL injection, it will send this data to the database without checking to ensure it, it is safer, safe first. After that, instead of saving a comment or getting account information, the database server will run malicious SQL queries that the attacker has put into the system. Attackers may still be able to uncover information using blind SQL injection even if the suspectable application does not explicitly reveal that. Now, uh, the second type of injection is cross-site scripting injection which is also known as XSS injection. Cross-site scripting injection lets an attacker take control of how users interact with an application that is vulnerable to it. An attacker can get around the same origin rule which is meant to keep different websites from talking to each other. Cross-site scripting creates security holes that allow an attacker to take the place of victim user, do anything the user is able to do and access any of the user's data. If the user who is being attacked has privileged access inside the program, the attacker may be able to take full control of the data and function of the application. Cross-site scripting is done by making changes to a website that can be attacked so that it sends harmful JavaScript back to users. When the malicious code is run in the browser of the victim, an attacker can completely change how the victim uses application. Third type of injection is LDAP injection attack. The protocol used to access and manage directory services on IP servers is called Lightweight Active Directory Protocol or a LDAP for short. The Lightweight Directory Access Protocol is a client server protocol that is used to verify users, manage resources and set permission. It also gives access to the directory database. When an attacker adds harmful statement to a query, the server receives malicious LDAP queries which can affect the security of the system. If an attacker is successful in injecting malicious code into LDAP, not only will the, hack, uh, will the attacker have access to data that should not be seen, but the attacker will also able to manipulate the structure of LDAP. LDAP injection attack utilize unfiltered user input LDAP injection make faulty request to modify directory data. LDAP queries are used asterisk, brackets, ampersands and quotations. These characters affect, affect LDAP query meaning, object type and the number. By altering the query control characters, attackers can change its functionality with meta characters and attacker can skip over password field in an LDAP, LDAP login query. HTTP header injection. The host header of a website or a web application specifies which website or a web application should be responsible for handling an incoming HTTP request. The content of this header is evaluated by the web server before it forwards the request to the website or an online application that can be specified. If the attacker delivers an arbitrary host to the real virtual host, this might result in web cache poisoning as well as execution of illegal activities like resetting a password. Servers that implicitly trust the host header can be open to attackers. The header is user control variable, so it is crucial that servers validate and or escape it properly to avoid allowing an attacker to inject harmful payloads. What are the common signs of injection vulnerability? Unexpected error messages, unusual behavior in response to input, presence of special characters in the input field, user supplied data is not validated, filtered or sanitized by the application, and using dynamic queries or non-parameterized calls without context-aware escape escaping are used directly in the interpreter. Hostile data is used within an object relation mapping search parameters to extract additional sensitive records.
Real world examples of injection vulnerability. In 2007, hackers gained access to 7-11 servers through an SQL injection. They were able to gain access to credit card numbers and transfer money to themselves. More recently, a new type of injection attack, that is RTF template injection, associated with the state-sponsored threat actors from the Russia, China, and India, has been made public. In 2019 several vulnerabilities were found in the highly popular game for night Fortnite including one one that left the system at risk of SQL injection attack that could compromise user privacy this vulnerability was identified and patched before any known exploitation occurred 2017 eBay had a severe accesses vulnerability which allowed attack to gain full access to seller accounts allowing them to sell products at a discount and steal payment details this was used by attackers to drastically reduce prices of high value products like vehicles the vulnerability was discovered in 2016 however attacks continued until 2017 Also in 2018 British Airways was attacked by high profile hacker group who exploited an access vulnerability in a javascript library used on a British Airways website this resulted in a group successfully skimming credit card information on booking transactions before the breach was uncovered potential impact of injection attack stolen credentials attackers can obtain credentials via, via sql injection and then users and use their privileges unauthorized access to database attackers can gain access to the sensitive data in database servers data alteration attackers can alter or add new data to the access database data deletion attackers can delete database records or drop entire tables let's see some common vulnerability exploitation examples of injection vulnerability common exploitation techniques include sql injection and cross site scripting in our first example we'll see how to bypass password using injection technique this is our first lab where we solved sql injection vulnerability allowing login bypass this lab contains a sql injection vulnerability in the login function to solve the lab we just have to perform sql injection attack that logs into application as the administrator user we just have to modify the username pa- parameter and giving it value to administrator single quote hyphen hyphen by using this technique we simply bypass the password if we don't have any idea about password we just simply bypass the password so this is the web page where we have to perform the attack i am ge- uh, ge- getting the request of my account in the login page i am entering username as a administrator which i have already known and uh, to bypass the password i am just simply giving a single quote hyphen hyphen so the password will get bypass and in password section i am entering any string like a b c 1 2 3 4 and uh, hitting login button after hitting login button we simply logged in into administrator account now in administrator account we have authority to update email also so if we want to update email we'll update i am entering abc@gmail.com and the email get updated so we can manipulate anything uh, by using login bypass now let's see the second example of injection vulnerability here we are using demo.desfire.net website which is a open source web application uh, by uh, to bypass the login credential here i am i have already know the username admin and but i don't have idea about password so i am giving admin single quote hyphen hyphen to bypass password and i got logged in as a admin user by just using a single quote and hyphen hyphen it is a method to bypass the login another example of injection vulnerability 
the lab which contains dom exercises in inner html sync using source location research this lab contains dom based cross site scripting vulnerability in the search block to solve this lab we just have to perform a cross site scripting attack that calls the alert function by using this uh, payload in search box uh, we can perform a, a dom based cross site scripting attack the value of src attribute is invalid through an error this triggers the on error event handler which which then calls the alert function as a result the payload is executed whenever the user browser users browser attempt to load the page here in search box i am directly pasting the uh, given payload and i am hitting the search button so we'll get the pop up which we want as a alert and we can see also after refreshing the page i'll get error another time and the lab gets solved now let's perform cross site scripting on demo.testfire.net also here i'm using their uh, search box to check to check cross site scripting i'm pasting the payload on search box and after hitting enter it directly shows me the uh, hyperlink which i have inserted in click me button and after clicking on that button it directly renders to the another website which is of amazon.in so by using this uh, payload we can directly access to another website also whenever users uh, try to do any action and click on that url he will directly redirects to the another website also how to prevent uh, from injection attacks authorized users injection attacks are often aimed at servers and software that are accessible to anybody on the internet to prevent this attack it is important to securely authorize users with methods like multi factor authentication and audit systems on regular basis unrestricted file uploads files can contain malicious software review the file upload functionality so that file types and extensions supported are only those that are necessary for business functionality do not allow for file name and its extension directly without having allow list filter data validation input validation ensure that only properly formatted input enters and information system processes preventing inaccurate and malicious data from remaining in the database developers can validate data by comparing the data value against the defined set of rules and analyze information within required parameters configure parameters always use prepare statements for compiling a query this method helps distinguish the code from input data prepare statements that are used to compiling a query will limit variable on incoming sql commands to avoid piggy banking the malicious injection by cyber criminals use safe apis utilize safe apis provided by the programming language or frameworks you are using conduct regular code review and use static analysis tools to identify and remediate injection vulnerabilities in the application code manual code reviews and automated static analysis can help uncover potential security weaknesses including injection vulnerabilities before they are deployed into production implement a web application firewall to inspect incoming http traffic and filter out potential malicious request the web application firewall can detect and block various types of injection attacks including sql injection command injection and xss ensure that all components of your application including web servers application servers and databases are securely configured disable unnecessary features and services apply security patches promptly and follow best practices for securing server configurations continuously educate developers system administrators and other stakeholders about the risk associated with injection vulnerability and best practices for prevention and remediation 
so this is all about injection vulnerability i hope you enjoy this video and i will see you next time while covering the other vulnerabilities from the oaps top 10 list thank you